Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here today to work on this writing journal that we started the other day and uh, we did the cover. So if you didn't see that video, I will have it linked below. But uh, what I'm doing is making a writing journal by request. The, the person wanted a writing journal and she wanted it to also be pretty. And she, just to recap a little bit and uh, she, we also talked about a binder cover. So this was a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook that, you know, wasn't in perfect condition. So I felt like it was a good one to recover. So we recovered it the other day. We didn't do the fabric and I already went, went ahead and put the fabrics. I had a, some time and I wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and do it. <laughs> so I'll tell you what I did though, in case you uh, never done it before, I cut my strip to where I wanted it to come out here so you can see it comes out. Uh, this is uh, has checks or gingham on it so it had three squares. I put three squares over the front here and then I you know it wraps around the, the binding and or the spine and it wraps around the back. The rest of it wrapped around the back. So uh, all I did to, to put those that on see it doesn't you know it's not like a book we're using a book where you put it on the inside too. It's just going on the outside. So I cut that strip. I actually just ripped it, tore it with my hands, and uh, then uh, glued it down in sections. So I just glued it down here first, got all nice and glued down, then did the, the, the spine, glued that down, then turned it and did the back. So I did three, did it in three steps to get it all nice and glued down. I did push it down into that little crack here so hopefully that will stay but see the little where the book folds you know I push it down in there and I did the same thing back here not as apparent back here but I did do it back here too push it right down and put glue in there and push it right down into that little crack right there so there you can see it a little bit more now that I put my fingernail on it but yeah I think it came out nice and then I looked through my rick racks and trims and things and found this green rick rack. I didn't want pink because there's a lot of pink in here. I didn't want yellow because I wanted it to stand out. So the other color on here, there's a little tiny bit of blue, but I didn't really want blue. I did find some of this, almost this color, but I thought, then I found this green. I thought it was perfect. I, I'm not afraid of color. So you can see it's quite colorful, but I, like I said in my first video, I wanted it to be happy. And inspiring so I think I achieved that with the outside so now we're gonna work on the inside I didn't do that yet but I did pick out some papers and I didn't want to uh, go overboard on the pink you can see there's I feel like the pink is the prevalent color here in this cover you know paper even though you have a lot of this kind of turquoisey color in the background pink just really jumps out at you so I didn't want to go like all out overboard with the pink so I picked out these two these, these are the same I was able to have there's two of each in this paper pad that I showed you in my first video so I still have my rick rack out here I see let me see oh I can put it away later anyway uh when I put this down here I just was like you know it's like uh I, I kind of what helps me decide on what to put down is when I put it down I say Oh, that's gonna you know it just kind of you know gives you a feeling like oh my goodness that is so that's gonna be so pretty when you open up and see this color and this pattern too here uh, let me see it yeah you can see it the pattern too and I have where I let a little bit of the let me show you up close I let a little bit of the uh, other paper show like I'm not gonna put it right up to the edge you know like boom cover up I let a little bit show so I put it like this like a regular book I know I've said this before but uh, just in case you're new and you haven't seen it me do the inside of a book before inside of a book cover I let a little bit of the outside color show just like a book when you open up a regular book you will see some of the color from this outside of the book cover on the inside right there usually so that's what I'm doing there. So we're going to go ahead and put these down since I've already got went ahead and put the uh, the fabric on the outside. I'm done with that. So let me grab a pencil. I want because I want this to be precise 
where I, like I said, I have a little bit showing all the way around of the color from the cover. And then, okay, so that top looks good there. And I'm going to mark right down here so I can cut here. And I can cut over here. I want this to go right to the end of the book cover here and not go into the spine. So that is about, actually I can probably make a little fold there. About right there. So I don't need the pencil. Okay, so let's cut that. We'll get this one down and then we'll do the other one. Uh, I've said before I don't assume that the back and front covers are the same size because I think I did that once and I was like, oh, wow, that did not work out. <laughs> so I always cut the front. If I'm covering the inside of a book, I always cut the front and back separate. Okay, so where's my pencil mark here? I do not see. Oh, here. Okay, do I see it? Wait a minute. Here it is right here. Okay. It's so tiny. So tiny, Sherry. <laughs> Why don't you make it so tiny? It's right there, though. Okay. Right there. Okay. So we can cut right there. And this should fit right inside. I've got some nice scraps there to use for pockets or tuck spots or something. So let's see. Let's try it out. See how we did. Yes, that is going to fit. Let's make sure before we glue it down. Yes, that is going to be, see, it's just going to be look really pretty uh, as a, when you open up the journal and you see this pretty pattern. And then we're going to put a pocket in here too. So some of this will be covered up. So yeah, I am, I am going to put pockets in here and we might get to that during this video. I haven't picked out the papers, so we can pick out the papers together. But I'm going to put my glue on here because I don't I don't usually put it on here so I don't get too much, uh, you know, where, glue where I don't want it. I know where I want the glue on here, so I always put it on the paper or whatever. whatever. Usually I put it on when I'm gluing down if I can do it that way. So I'm using a Fabri-Tac. Uh, this is a papery, uh, sub, you know, paper that we're gluing down on here. Kind of almost feels like a magazine page, but not, it's, it might look a little glossy, but it's not that glossy. If it was ever glossy, it wore off because it's not really that glossy. So there should be no, I mean, if it were, even if it was glossy, um, Fabri-Tac usually will glue down on whatever, pretty much anything, but Let's just get some glue all over this. And I'm going to do it quickly because these glues, that's why we like them because they dry really fast, right? <laughs> but that means you got to move fast sometimes when you're using them before they do dry or start drying. Okay. So I think that is good. Let me check my edges real good here. Okay. Well, in between, glue in between the glue. Okay, I think that's good. That should be plenty. Let's get it down. I'm doing my side over here first. Bottom. Lining that up. Top. Looks good. Okay, I think we can press it down. I just like to, especially something like this, you open up and you see this pretty color and pretty pattern. Get my edges here. Okay, I'll smooth it out a little bit with my little scraper here. Okay, here we go. Let's do the back. Here is the back. We're going to cut it the same way, but we're going to measure because 
make sure everything's right. Okay, so there it is. Well, let's do it this way so I can see the edge over here. Okay, there's the top. Have a little bit showing. And then I'm going to make a little mark here, my pencil. About right. I'm going to make a bigger mark this time so I don't lose it, right? <laughs> About right there. I think that's a little high. Down a little bit more about right there just under the other one <laughs> okay there we go and then uh, we went like this and we just folded it over here right on the on this next to the spine there okay so we'll cut this go ahead and cut this first straight and then let's see I think I turned it over did I turn it over yeah I did so here's my line for the bottom all right now let's just take a peek see how we did make sure everything looks good yes this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. Okay, yeah, we can glue. Yeah, this is one side of scrapbook paper too. Um, I do like to, like when I'm doing something like this, if at all possible, you know, like I'm gluing this down. So if at all possible, I like to use my one-sided scrapbook paper so I'm not wasting my two-sided, you know what I mean, where you have two pretty patterns on either side if at all possible to use the one-sided on something like this then you're just gluing down your white paper right and it's so it's a good way to use if you don't you know if you maybe prefer double-sided and you don't know what to do with your one-sided this is a good idea to use it for something like this and covering a book inside or out or both all right all right I think we got glue on our glue I think we're good to go here <laughs> so we got glue everywhere okay I start on the outside so I get it right here next to my you know and then I kind of look at the bottom and the top make sure that's Got my little space kind of the same on the top and the bottom and then just go ahead and put it down and you probably have a second to move it but not too long as far as once you put it down see I just moved it a little bit and I think we're good to go good to press it down and that's it on covering and then we're going to do some pockets so we're going to look through here again, find some paper from this paper pack and make some pockets. And I will show you my pockets again on, on my journal because I really like the way I made them because there's room. They're not just flat pockets. You know what I mean? I made a little kind of, uh, not necessarily a gusset, but I put a little fold on the back so that there would be room to put a bulky amount of stuff in there. So that's what I would like to do here. So here's the inside. So far, pretty. I like it. And it kind of looks, uh, you know, I like to look, a lot of times I like to look, when I, when I make something like this, I like it to look like it's always been like this. And it kind of gives me that vibe where, you know, you don't, once you once you once this is done, you don't really know like this was a Better Homes and Gardens binder. You're gonna look at it and go, oh, I wonder what that was. It's so pretty. It looks like it was always this way, you know. <laughs> so that's kind of what I go for. So this one, um, here's the pockets again. This is mine, and uh, I just took a piece of scrapbook paper and folded in. All side, all three sides here, 
So that's what we're going to do. And it's a simple, it's simple, but it does give you more room that way here. Okay. So let's pick out a piece of paper and hopefully we can get two pockets done during the remainder of this video. So it needs to be something that goes with this green. See, here's the green scraps. Here's the scraps from the cover. And I don't, wouldn't want to use, I want to use something different, even, even different from what we already use. So let's see what we have in here. Uh, it's got to go with the green. Number one, let's go with the green here. So let's see what we have in here. Uh, we've got map. I don't think that really goes. I mean, it would go, but not with this, this overall cover look we've got going on here. And let's see, this would go and it's different from the front and the back. We've got flowers on here though, so I don't know. I don't know about the flowers and the flowers. I mean, we could make it work, but let's see if there's something better. Stripes, now that's something different, but it's so bright. Although, you know, I gotta think of the person that is getting this too. So there's some gold. I really like this, but I don't think that's the right one. This is like a uh, sketch here of a kitchen. Is it a kitchen or a whole? It's a whole house, living room, bedroom. Isn't that cool? Like a, a um, blueprint. This is pretty. Hmm. And this is very different. The flowers are very different. This is what I, this is how I picked out the inside <laughs> cover pages here. I pulled a bunch of pages out of here and just took them out and laid them here. And said, this is a possibility. This is a possibility. This, that, and the other. And I had about nine possibilities. Oh, this is, let me see how this one looks. I'm going to pull this one out just in case because it's kind of hard to see. I mean, you kind of can see, but you kind of, it's kind of hard to see when it's in here. So if it's at all a possibility, I kind of like to pull it out and then look at it again. So, you know, sometimes that takes a while. Uh, that's the outside. That's the same one we have on the front cover. That's not right. No. No. Okay, are we repeating here? I think we are. Hmm. Let me make sure. Let me go a little quick here, quicker here. I don't think the polka dots or the, that's like a honeycomb or the polka dots. The polka dots, hmm, no, I don't think so. All right, I think, do we look at them all? That's the one we picked out and that's the one we picked out. So I think we've got two choices here that we'll pick from. Well, we could go with the same color. Let me see this polka dot one here. Oh, we could go with this almost the same green here. Let's see this one. It would really blend in though. I kind of would like it to stand out a little bit. Let's see this one. I think this one could be really cute if it were it would if it would work. We could almost once we fold in these edges, you would just see like I could cut this off so you have this little scalloped edge. And then we'd be folding this edge in. So then that would just be more apparent. And the green would be brought in right here. There's a little green right there. <laughs> so uh, that could be something. Let's see this one. Well, I think there's no uh, contest here. This one, even though I think that one could work, I think this one works better. It's just got more green in it, just kind of, you know, yeah. Okay, we did, we, we, we've decided. And we don't have that long left in this video, so we need to move on. <laughs> okay, so process of elimination will do the trick, right? All right, so we have plenty for pockets in the front and back, 12 by 12, you know, one side piece of scrapbook paper. So, um, like I said, I need to make a little fold on both sides and the bottom. So let's just start by actually just cutting this in half and see what we, ha what we have left here. Because I think this might be about the right size once we fold it, it. We won't have much to cut off except for on the sides. 
So let's get this in here and cut it. All right, right in half makes it easy. Okay, see, it'll be about right. Let's go ahead and fold the bottom a little bit here on both of these maybe. So yeah, just make it like a, I say half an inch fold on the bottom. And you get it square here. Okay. Square. All right, and let's do this one. Uh, yeah, I still need my, need my paper cutter for another second, so I'm just trying to get a little bit more room here. Can you see right here? Yeah, I'm just folding right here. Okay, I'm just going to fold this up here. I needed a little bit more room there for folding. That was a little awkward to fold over there. Okay, I think I could fold better here. Yeah, that's much better, much easier. Okay, so now I want it to go all the way across. So let's do the back one first. I want it to go all the way across. So I need about a half an inch on each side. So I'm going to add an inch to this, which would be, let me get it even with my little measurements here, about right there. So I'm going to cut about right there, maybe a little, leave a little bit more room. What am I on? My pencil. About right there, and a little bit more. I'm going to move it over just a hair, just to make sure we have enough room for our folding. So uh, then I'm going to take it and put a half inch fold on either side here. I'm going to cut this in a second, the corner, but I just want to go ahead and make my fold to see what's what here. So there's one fold. And then the other one needs to be, let me put that, so this will be even with our paper on the sides and the bottom here. So about right, about right there is where I need to fold. Okay. So there's all my folds. And then I'm going to unfold it. Here we got our folds. I'm going to cut the corners out. Let me get my paper and scissors here. Oh, let me put my lid on my glue. Don't want that to dry out that we were just using. We'll be using it again in a second. But So I'm just cutting these corners off here where we folded the bottom corners. So take that bulk out of there. We don't need that for anything. Okay. And then we have pretty much have our pockets. Um, do I want to do anything else to this before I glue it down? See, we're just going to glue it down like that with our folds folded in. I didn't do anything else to mine, did I? I just did straight across. I think I might make a little thumb hole there, right there. So I'll be right back. I'm going to grab my little punch just a second. Okay, I got my circle punch. It's a two inch circle punch. And I'm going to just punch a hole right in the middle here. And just you go halfway down or however big you want it and just punch a hole in the middle or punch in the middle and you get your little finger hole there okay thumb hole okay and just makes it a little easier to get things in and out trying to make sure it's even from side to side I could measure, but <laughs> I don't do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're gonna glue this down and do the front. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. Let's let's do the bottom first because I want to. It doesn't matter. Let's just put a little glue right here. I'm going to glue, glue these two together, the flaps together first, and then glue it all down. A little bit of 
glue on there. Okay, so we're gluing these flaps together first, like this. Um, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, that should be good. That should be all right. Okay. I'm going to fold this a little bit more with my fingernail. You can use a big bone fold folder if you want. I just don't have it right here, so I'm just using my fingernail to make a nice crease on there. Okay, so it's all creased. And now I'm going to put glue on my folds only. You know, the folded over part here. And get a lot on there. But I don't want it to get over into this part. So... But I want it to be nice and sturdy and glued down forever. That's all. <laughs> Just forever. So there's quite a bit of glue on that one. Let's get this one. Okay, I don't want to get glue on my on the book here, so I'm kind of being careful. That's why I was holding it up instead of putting it down. I don't want to get glue on my book or on a journal. Okay, let me hold it up again. Get it on the edge here. And a little bit more here. Right in the middle right there seems to need some. And we need to get it down before it starts drying. All right, that looks like plenty. Let's put it down here exactly, even with our paper we already have on there. Okay, looks good, looks good. And press it into place. Got a second to move it around, but not too long. <laughs> I just moved it a little bit and it worked, but yeah, I was like, uh, is it going to move at this point? <laughs> and it did. Just a hair, I wanted to move it down because I could see the paper underneath, you know, this paper. All right, I think that, that, I like it a lot. I love it. <laughs> that, that worked out really well. And now we have a big pocket here. And I know this is a writing journal, but you know, if she has notes or something she wants to stick in here, she will be able to do that, right? And see, it goes all the way over to the edge. That's why I'm checking, make sure everything's open here. It's all open. Okay, see, and it's like there's room in there. Okay, let's see if we have time to do this first, this uh, front one here. So we made our bottom fold already. Let's um, go ahead and and make sure this one is even real quick. I don't want to rush through it and then not, it not be right. So I think this one I was folding in a different spot and it didn't get quite evenly folded here. So let me see that. Okay. Still don't think it's even. Okay, maybe that's even. <laughs> okay, I think that's even. Okay, so I'm going to, <clears throat> looks fine from that side. So let's go ahead and fold this side over. And then I can decide where the other one, the other side folds. Okay, so we've got a little half inch fold there. I'm going to go like this. Something like that. And then we'll, we'll go over to here and... Let me see where the edge is. The edge is right there, and then about a half inch over, so about right there. We'll cut off about right there. Okay. Now, let me fold this side. And cut off those corners and 
like I did before. So you already saw me do the other one. I'm going to, oops, let me cut this like this. I have like one or so minutes left here. <laughs> one or two minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. I cut up my uh, little finger hole again, and then I'm going to glue it down the same way. So I already showed you how I did that. So probably don't need to see that again. I don't know if I can see it. Let me see this with the sides. I might glue down the sides first. That's what I did over here. And see, I don't want this getting in my way. Like I'm trying to just eyeball it, but this is kind of getting in my way. I'm going to glue down the, the sides like I did. Make my finger hole and then glue this down right here. You know, have my front and back pocket. And next I should be able to work on the pages. So that'll be my next video. I will come back to you and share with you the pages, hopefully. So I will see you in my next video. Hope you enjoyed the progress today. And I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.